Oh, you fucking yes. That's... Ah. Yeah, that weighs... That's... <laughs> The amount of fuel needed just to move yep. an electric heated seat. That would cost you noticeable number of quid a month. In order to keep the Aventime as a family car, we borrowed two race seats from our 24-hour BMW racer and two from Hammond's stretched MG. And then we set about replacing the heavy glass roof. It's four and a half hammers across. With our weight shedding completed, I went to ask James about his suspension, which was a mistake. The springs are stiffer and the dampers can be adjusted so that the rate of compression and rebound change. That helps if you alter that very, very finely. You can keep the tyre in contact with the road more of the time. The instant the weight goes off or the tyre bounces up, you lose grip, which will lower your cornering speed. And we know that cars are fast. Really good. You ask. With our car now lighter, lower, firmer, grippier and fitted with better brakes, it was time for another lap. Go! It was now almost the end of our first day, and we had to have something to show for all our effort. Sticky, come on, sticky, come on, sticky. They're cornering flat. He is oh, he's, that's better. He's faster. This is faster. Come on, come, come, on, on, come, come on, on, come on, come on. Oh! 138.2. Which means we're exactly 10 seconds away from our target time. Now, I suppose at this point, you two will kill me if I say power. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you say and let's see. No, look, James, just old-fashioned tuning, cylinder heads, camshafts, inlet manifolds. You get filthy, dirty. Think of that all night long, an all-nighter in all the workshop. All those bolts you could name and line up. We won't interfere. Out, put spanners back in order. And I promise we wouldn't cock about. No. We'd do everything you asked us to do, I promise. Anything. Anything. Yes. Including leaving the workshop and not coming back until I finish. Just leaving you alone all yeah. through the night. Can I have a bag of chips? Yes, yes. I'll buy you a bag of chips. All right. Yes! Before James set about his all-nighter, we put the Aventime on a rolling road to see how much power it was actually producing after six years of hard graft. That's astonishing. That is astonishing, actually. Are you sure that's right? Yep. So it started with 210. It's now got 157, as it turns out. Is that all our figures so far have been gained with about 150 horsepower, and we yeah. should be able to get it up to 210 just with effectively a good service. So we filled James up with chips and left him to it. Come the dawn, the engine had a new air filter, new injectors and a new inlet manifold. He'd even stiffened the chassis to improve the handling. <laughs> 